Okay, so today's lesson is luckily something that we've already talked about in one of our past videos. So hopefully this one can be quick because we have talked about this, but we're going to go through a couple problems. Tile the rectangle by separating the rectangle into unit squares. Draw unit squares on the rectangle so that the length of the rectangle is eight unit squares and the width is three unit squares. So what they're having us do is they're having us tile this shape because they're giving us a shape that don't have tiles and they're asking us to find the area and that's not always easy. So first, I'm gonna make this side into eight units. First, I divided it in half, then I'm dividing both halves in halves. Now I'm gonna divide each of those halves into halves. And you will see that I have created one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different sections this way. Now on this side, I want three. So I'm gonna just divide this side into thirds. It's not perfect. Oh wow, it's really not perfect. <laughs> but yours might not be either. As long as we have three this way and eight this way, then we can understand that like now I could count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. <clears throat> Now what this lesson wants to show us is that we don't need to do that. That is so much extra work. What we can do is we can just see that there's eight this side and three on this side, and we can just do something that we already know because we know all about arrays, and we can just do eight times three. And we know, we should know at this point that eight times three equals 24. So we got the same answer, whether we did that by drawing the tiles and counting them, or just by multiplying. If there's eight units this way and three units this way, our answer will be 24. Let's check our work. Here we go, 24 is correct. Okay, find the area of the rectangle at the right by tiling it. So same thing here, six units on the top. So I need my pen. I'm gonna break this into six units. First, I'm gonna break it in half because six is an even number. I can break that in half. And then each of my halves, I want into three sections. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here, I want five units. That one's not as easy to do. So I'm just gonna do my best. Hoo, 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 my best guess. You know, doesn't matter if they're perfect or not. As long as I have one, two, three, four, five going this way and six going this way. If I were to count those all up, I'll tell you right now that there's 30 of them and I'm not gonna count them all up because I know that six times five equals 30. So simple, simple, simple. Okay, let's check our work. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do 30 is correct see I'm just trying to help you see the connection by drawing those tiles but like really it's unnecessary okay tile each rectangle to find its area mm, no <laughs> I think we're beyond that I think we can do it let me know um, in our meet if this is not making sense to you at all but right here we have six and right here we have six instead of tiling that up I'm just gonna go ahead and say that this square, the area of this square is six times six. We know six times six, 36 is 36. Okay, and then this one, instead of tiling it up, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, I know that the area of this shape is five times four, five units times four units. Well, good thing I know that one too. The area of this shape is 20 square units. Let's check our work. 36 and 20 is correct, okay? We don't need to keep going. Four times eight, 28, right? Wrong. Where's my pen? Yeah, I was definitely trying to trick you. It's not 28, 32. Three times four, 12, okay? We're getting quicker and quicker because we're understanding that four times eight will be our area. And here, three times four will be our area. There we go, boom, 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 done. Now, 
they want us to write the multiplication sentence for each of these problems. So we would write 9 times 4 equals 36. I do know my multiplication, I promise. <laughs> this one is 7 times 6 equals 42. Let's check our work. There we go. That's exactly what I showed you. Okay, so again, let me know if you have questions about that, but I feel like it's not too, too crazy. So just let me know.